It's time for us to take a look at how the Media Smart TV fits into our digital living room. Now, the first thing that I did when I unboxed this TV is I installed some software on my PC, just a regular old PC. I'll talk more about how the PC fits later, but basically what happened is some software installed on my PC that gives the Media Smart TV access to the media on my computer. And I do that with my magic remote control through this interface, which is built in to the Media Smart TV. So friends come over to dinner, I want to show them my latest fishing photos. I can just go into the photo area. Now it's downloading the information from my computer. I'm not out on the internet now, I'm just using my local area network, a Wi-Fi network, and there's all my photos. If I want to watch a slideshow, I can play a slideshow right here. And if I've got my video or my photos stored on multiple computers, I can even switch servers here. So if you have a media server, a lot of people are moving to a media server in their house where they're going to store all their music, pictures, and video, you can also access that from the Media Smart TV. But we can do more than just view photos. We can also view video from our computer. Now this can be video which you have downloaded from the internet. It can be video that you've recorded up from TV onto your computer, or it can be video that you've edited yourself and shot yourself. So let's see if on my computer I have, hmm, perhaps a video of me fishing? You think? Perhaps? Maybe? <gasps> Kel surprise! Look, there's a video of me fishing. You come over to my house, sit down and watch my TV, you're going to see some fishing <laughs> videos. Excellent! All right. You also can use it to manage all of your music collections. Streaming your music through your house to your sound system is a great way to use your digital music, and the music section here will allow that. So when we take a look in the digital music section, once again, a connection is being made between the Media Smart TV and our computer. Now, it doesn't matter where your computer is in the house, anywhere where your digital music is stored, you can access it from the Media Smart TV. Now, since the Media Smart TV, being your home theater TV, is probably going to be hooked up to the best sound system in the house, this is a great place to stream your music. So you can set up playlists on your computer and then get to all those playlists. And if we look on the left hand side, we see all of our different menu controls for sorting through by music, by album, artist, genre, or playlists. So you can use this for all the background or foreground music in a party in your house. One last area to look at is the area of online services. Now here's where we're going to make one big change. Instead of staying on our Media Smart TV and our local computer, when we go to online services, you see the world icon there, and now we're going to go out onto the internet in general. So we're going to use our Wi-Fi connection, and we're going to connect to a server on the internet. Now these are resources that HP has licensed that are accessed for the Media Smart TV. We have entertainment services, and right now they also have a music jukebox that you can access. But let's look at the entertainment services to start. And now we're brought into a web server. And the web server has all sorts of additional content. Things like Snapfish photo albums. So an online photo album is now available to me. Live internet radio, Cinema Now, which allow you to download movies. And what I wanted to show you is a brand new service that's just launched. It shows you the internet connectivity here. It's something called zip.ca. Now, zip.ca is a service that will allow you to order DVDs sent directly to your home. So you can actually walk through this, preview the movies, decide what movies you want to watch, and then order the movies from zip.ca right on your media smart TV. Now, I do need to clarify a few things here. Now, first of all, even though we're connecting to the internet here, this isn't a web TV. You aren't going to be able to go to Google and do a search on your TV. There's no keyboard attached. We don't do normal web browsing on this TV. Instead, the web for this TV is a delivery service, and the web's used to update its capabilities. That means as more services come online, those services are automatically going to appear in the roster of services that are available in the TV's interface. Now, secondly, I want to go over to the connection to our computer itself, because the computer connection with the Media Smart TV can happen with any Windows XP or later computer. So you don't necessarily have to have a Media Center PC to take advantage of all of these features. However, if you do have a Media Center PC, then you will have some extra capabilities, most notably Personal Video Recorder or PVR. But to do all the things that we just looked at, watch downloaded movies or TV shows, listen to music, watch a slideshow, look at photos. The existing PC that you have in your home is most likely going to work just fine. However, if you're interested in having the ultimate in a home digital living room, then you're going to be interested in what the capabilities that the Media Center PC are. And you're going to want to stick around because we're going to take a look at the Media Center PC and where it fits into our new awesome digital living room in just a few minutes. All 
All 26 episodes of Dottotech Season 3 are available to borrow at participating libraries. Check our website for details.